Hi guys. So I was super excited today when Pablo followed me on Twitter. Yes, Pablo Stanley followed me on Twitter. How awesome is that? Pablo just released an amazing female plugin called Blush.Design. Like you all need to check it out. He had a session with us yesterday where he showed us a few things, how to use the um, plugin, an overview of how it works with Figma and all of that. So I decided to do this design and I'll be showing us how I made this design using Figma and the blush.design plugin. We'll be timing ourselves to do this in about 10 minutes. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do um, is to create my frame. I'll be using a MacBook Pro frame. Then next up, I want to install my plugin. So I go to my menu, go to plugins, have a lot of plugins. Uh, go to more, manage plugins. Okay, while well, this loads up, um, yes, so I have access to the community beta testing and I'll just be going to plugins. I'll search for blush. Um, that's what we'll be using. And I'm going to install. Yes, once it's installed, I'll go back to my um, design here and just continue. So, yes, to bring up my plugin, uh, go to plugins. Okay, what I did, right click, plugins, um, blush. So, this is the blush, the blush plugin. It has a lot of cool collections. So what I used was city space, um, also done by um, Cityscape, sorry, by Pablo as well. So I just clicked on this. Though so, um, how this works is you have a lot of um, designs, right? You have a lot of designs. You have a lot of illustrations and you can change them whichever way you want before i continue um inside my rectangle i think i would like to have a frame that can house my design or my illustration sorry <laughs> keep saying design okay so i used um downtown yes this um was the illustration i made use of so i used downtown and um i think i used two two of downtown and then a different a different one in the middle okay so if you just click on it um it just randomizes what you have and it creates something generic for you but if you don't want it to do that I'm just going to show you something so take for instance um, um, we have so take for instance we have this here right um, I can just click on sorry I don't know what's happening okay so I can just click on any of the PNGs and I can either randomize so it changes with every randomization I make I hope you can see this. Okay, so it changes with every randomization I make. Or you, you as a as a designer can select how you want each of the elements to be. Um, yeah, you can change the cars appearing, the type of buildings um, that are showing there. So this is how amazing this blush to design plugin is, right? Yes, so I would be using this for my designs. Uh, okay. So this was just what I used for my design. I just picked three wonderful um, samples, customized them um, to make the lower parts of my design that I have right there. Okay, so I have this too and put something like right so this isn't supposed to be so put something like this in the middle. 
all right though it's it's looking the clouds are like too much okay so for this have how many have about one two one okay i'm going to remove this frame so i just have the rectangle then i just ungrouped to remove the frame okay so i have one two then i have three so it seems like there is too much cloud so i'm removing the cloud from some Right, where did I move the cloud from here? So I moved the cloud from here. I will be removing, changing the cloud pattern of this one. Why does it feel like there is still so much going on here? Okay, randomize, randomize again. Okay, yeah, this works better. I can choose. No, I didn't say you should change the design. All right, so I'm just going to keep randomizing. Okay, yeah, this was what I wanted all right so here we have uh, illustrations so it's very easy to use obviously I didn't have to like go um, to first of all look for my city's illustrations and do this and all of that so yes I have that um, for my background I'll just be picking one of the colors um, from the buildings that I like okay so yes I love this background next thing I want to do now I have my cities my buildings uh, I want to create my edda creating a frame here I'll uh, using a frame of about to say height of 80 height of 80 then um, I uh, would want to create a layout grid column grid count of about 12 should do yeah count of 12 works for me and my text okay so um text working with my logo first so i i call this ivory 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 and as you notice i'm using the muli font m-u-l-i i hope i pronounced it well muli Muli. Okay, so this is going to be my logo. I'm going to edit this. Um, make it bold a bit. Let's try twenty. Let's try minus three. All right. So this logo works for me. Then here, yeah, I want to have some elements. Um, or some tabs yeah tabs so about about um pricing about pricing the next thing like contacts yeah this works and i want to have a button that says get started get started now I said this is going to be a button, so my rectangle um, button height for five. Let's give a radius of five. For the radius of five, um, move this down. 
align it, group it, don't always forget, don't forget to do that. Yep. All right, so the color of my button, I'll be picking um, the complementary color I'm getting here. Yeah, that. And um, now let me turn off the grid. Okay. Yeah, so I picked this uh, complementary color. So for my button color, I'm going to be using button text. Okay. All right, we have this. I'm going to space this out evenly. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to space this out evenly. Yeah, I have that. Okay. All right, what's the next thing I did? Okay, my heading, very large heading right here at the center. It tells, okay, what's this page about? Okay, so what I just did was, okay, have, uh, let me change the font color, sorry, I have to type something first. Okay, so what I wrote was, a curation, all right, let me change this to white so you can all see uh, while I'm typing. So, a curation of the best cityscapes. And houses downtown. All right. Um, text of text size thirty six works perfectly for me here. Um, yes. Let's see. Okay, align. So my sub adding that one definitely is gonna be sixteen. And what I wrote there was cut your cut your expenses by getting one of our four stable homes yeah align that and lastly what I then created was a search box so all right I am um, I could just pick from here all right change this to search Right, I'm duplicating this rectangle. I don't want to waste a lot of time changing the color. It's going to be like um, something search by location thereabout. So search by location. So if this is going to be my search box, it's going to be long. Then I have this here. Obviously, I'm going to change the color of this, so let's try BD. Yes, this works. Uh, at the same time, I'm going to realign this and touch up the edges. So I want this part to be straight. So my border radius, um, this is right, so zero. I'm looking for right again, zero. Then for this, I'm looking for my left. Let's try zero and zero. Okay, so how is this looking now? Align, um, duplicate, distribute vertically. Yes, I think we're done. Yes, we are done. I don't know how many minutes we spent, but yes, we've gotten to the end of this. So it's very easy, it's very simple, and um, just follow the steps, and you'll be getting this correctly. All right, so the size of this rectangle is 589, and the height of 45. 
the button is 117 height 45 okay once again how did i get my blush plugin uh just go to your blog um your plugins if you don't have it yet go to more manage plugins you can install it there or if you have it just click on blush and you would see um the different creations of illustrations you can pick from thank you for watching this um, video um do subscribe to my youtube channel if you like these videos and drop your comment please please all right so subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos like this thank you